Hello everyone, this video is going to be about growing your profit. Okay, so I know when you first start playing the game, you want to level up quickly so that you can start utilizing the styles and whatnot so you can start decorating your cafe. But I advise that using that time to just save. Um, it, of course, you're not going to get very far, but waiting a couple of weeks, like at least two weeks um, early on before leveling up so that you can save your coins so that when you level up, you can buy the equipment that you need without any problems. Um, the main important thing about this video is patience, saving, and knowing um, when to buy things and this also goes back to a video that I made earlier um, this year which I will le leave the link below in the description where I talk about where I buy my equipment and the reason why I'm mentioning this again is because again this is also pertaining to your profit and so <clears throat> this is also important um, when you're buying your equipment and even furniture as you can see um, you definitely want to wait to level up until close to when this is going to refresh so that way you're getting your stylish equipment um, as soon as possible and then also you get a cheaper price on maybe for instance your service table or um, a table for two or a table for four or whatever that they put in this daily special offers this is your best friend when it comes to buying your equipment and buying some furniture um, if you take my suggestion, then the furniture part won't be an issue as far as like waiting till this refreshes. The main thing with this is buying your single cup or your cake display or your ice cream or your freezer refrigerator from here and not buying it from the basic equipment tab. That's the most important thing. Never buying your equipment from here whenever you open up the stylish section. That is very, very important. Now the next important thing that plays the main role in how much your profit is going to grow is choosing your style. I know a lot of people saying that using multiple styles actually does not hurt you and you still bring in a lot of profit, but actually that's not quite true because for instance, my at the level that I am at, the champagne style is the most profitable style out of all of these styles. This is the most profitable style from levels 30 to 33, or whichever level it starts. I think it starts at 28, actually. But the champagne style is the most profitable style out of all of the styles. If I mixed this style with another style, say like Northern Lights or the Chinese style, my profit would not be greater than what it is right now because I am losing, I am using less profitable styles with something that is more profitable. So I hope you understand what I'm saying. Using something that is less profitable is not gonna bring you more tips, mixing it with something that is more profitable. The most expensive equipment or furniture um, is going to bring you more tips, not something that is less profitable. So mixing the styles, because they are not all equal at um, the same levels, using the, le the least profitable style or Mix, mass, mix matching um, sub styles is not going to bring you more profit. Now, if you have a large quantity of mixed styles, then yes, you're going to still be getting a lot of profit, but you're not gonna be getting the most out of it, is what I'm trying to say. So using one sub style is best, and using the most profitable style that you can afford is best. Now, I know that after level 33, um, going into the next sub style um, for the French style, it is actually not the most profitable. I think it's probably like in the middle. The most profitable from levels 34 and up um, for now, because not all of the sub styles are out, but for now, I believe it's the Northern Lights. Now, the style that is more profitable consistently from starting from when you first open up the style section. Um, is the French style, the American Retro, and the Northern Lights. Those are the most profitable consistently. Um, from the beginning, the Northern Lights is more in the middle on the profitable side. 
Um, but it does continue to grow as far as be becoming more profitable as you level up. And American Retro, once you reach um, actually the level that I'm at now, um, like this section, I guess you can say, um, it actually the becomes not the least profitable, but it actually um, moves down in profit as far as like becoming like more in the middle um, on the profitable side of it. The French, the French substyle um, actually becomes more profitable and stays profitable all the way up until level 33. So um, what, after that, then um, what the game makers suggested is just keeping the style the substyle that's more profitable rather than um, using the more expensive substyle since it brings you less tips. So that is something that I'm gonna do whenever I decide to level up. But um, I know early on um, the least profitable substyles are, or sorry, the least profitable styles are the loft style and the English style. And then I heard that the Chinese style is, um, it's decently profitable and it's like in the middle with the Northern Lights, but the Northern Lights is more profitable than the Chinese style. <clears throat> but the Chinese style is cheaper. Um, I think it's cheaper than the, well, I know it's cheaper than the French style because um, the French style is actually the most expensive style. Um, and I know, I believe that the Chinese style is a little cheaper than the Northern Lights style, um, but it's not the most profitable one. So you have your pick. Um, between the styles, but definitely choose wisely. And I strongly advise do not mix the styles just because you want to use the most profitable one. Um, also, if you mix the styles, you have to take into account that your equipment is not gonna be in the same styles if you're mixing them. Now, if you're buying um, th your equipment in, in different styles, um, then that's, I don't know, I feel like that's just gonna make things a little bit more complicated when it comes to deciding which style you want to stick with um, because you don't wanna waste your diamonds. Like if you bought your equipment in different styles and you're wanting to change your cafe into one style, um, I suggest keeping the equipment that's in different sub well, that are in different styles because you don't want to waste your diamonds. You're not going to get those diamonds back. You're actually going to get coins from them if you sell them. And diamonds are already hard to come by. So um, just keep it. It's still going to bring you tips. Um, now, if it gets to a point to where you need to make room, then definitely switch it out with um, something that you need that is in your style that you're using. Um, but other than that, keep it for as long as you can, just because, like I said, you want to get the most out of out of it since you spent your diamonds on it. Um, I also talked about in another video about how I level up and I will also leave that link in the description as well. Um, you want to be patient when you level up because you want to allow the new furniture, the more expensive furniture to um, build your profit. So that's the whole point of being patient when you level up is allowing it to accumulate in your little bank over here, over here. Um, I talked about this in the other video. When I level up, I make sure that I save up enough coins, not to just buy my stylish equipment, but also to switch out all of my old furniture with my new furniture. You want to do this at once so that you can start seeing the growth immediately. Um, if you're not able to do that and you don't want to wait to do that, you just want to save up the coins that you need for your equipment and then level up and then gradually um, save up and switch out your furniture that way, um, then that's another way you can do it. But keep in mind that in doing that, it's going to take you longer to see the growth in your profit. That's the only thing is that it's going to take you longer. And I know a lot of people don't like to wait um, to save, they just want to read the story and continue on, but considering that the game and the levels are based off completing the story, then it is very strongly advised to wait, stop reading for a few weeks and allow your coins to accumu accumulate um, while you're saving with your new furniture and equipment. 
Um, that is the key to growing a profit and also making sure that you don't spend for things that you don't need. Um, what I like to do is utilize everything even if I don't like it. So I started playing the game um, when the game came out, actually like five or six months after the game had already been out, but I also stopped playing just as quickly as I started. And I didn't start playing consistently until la like after a couple of days after the one year anniversary, which is why I do not have the first birthday cake. Um, but I was lucky to be in a township to that was not active. Now, why this is lucky is because since I was the only one participating in festivals and um, you know doing things in my township, whenever my township leader would get online, I would get all of the prizes. So I never had to deal with um, not being able to buy multiple cup machines. Um, I also used my diamonds to cover any machines that I could not afford because I was not being patient and saving before I leveled up. And that is before I knew um, that there was um, prices out there on the on Google really that tells you like the different prices of pretty much everything and that was before I knew about all of that so I didn't know how expensive everything was going to be or how much it was going to be whenever I got to it um, <clears throat> so it was just a play the game and see what happens on my next level and it also kept me from becoming a VIP, um, which I did become a VIP later, um, and I'll explain that later. Um, but I didn't have to spend any real money or anything. Um, I got all of my diamonds from the festival because I was the only one participating. But the only thing was, is that my township leader would not get online for about a month to three months before I would get all of my prizes. So yes, that was the dilemma. I had to wait until she got on and gave me all of my prizes. But at least I always had large sums of diamonds. So whenever I uh, decided to make my own township, I had a little over 8,000 diamonds saved um, when I made my own township. And I was not a VIP. Um, I also had all of my multiple cup machines as well. Now, I noticed that even though I had multiple cup machines, I was not seeing any growth really in my profit. And that's because I was trying to wait to get to the champagne sub style. And so I was just sitting at the marble sub style and I was not utilizing any of the wall lamps, the floor lamps, the table decorations. Um, I did use the windows, I did use some um, tables, but not a lot. Like I wasn't using a whole lot of decoration. I also was not utilizing any of the decorations that I got from the stories to get gifts or that I got um, from completing stories or anything. So that's another reason why I wasn't seeing a growth in my tips is because I wasn't utilizing everything. Utilizing all of the floor lamps, the flowers or vases, the table decorations, the wall lamps, using all of the windows, using as many um, tables as you feel comfortable that's not overcrowding. <laughs> Um, if you do not like that, um, that is very, very important. And then also, all of the all of the decorations that you get from stories, if you cannot sell it, use it. That is my motto. If you cannot sell it, use it because it's going to bring you more profit. This big egg over here, I hate this egg. It is hideous. This mirror, again, hideous. I hate it but it brings me more tips so i use it i am typically not over here in that section that often so i don't have to look at it um these tables back here are again ugly i don't like them but they bring me more tips so i use them the decorations that are on them 
I I can't sell them actually. Well, I can sell some of them. Um, the reason why I'm using the Halloween decoration instead a uh, table decoration instead of the opera table decoration because there's not one for champagne is because um, whenever I would switch out the opera decoration and replace that Halloween table decoration it would actually decrease the profit so that's why I'm using those two instead same with the candle well you we can't see it but there's a candle on this table back here there we go um, using that candle instead of the opera table decoration is um, actually more profitable so that again that is why I'm utilizing that table decoration rather than the actual French decoration so um, I tried to utilize all of the decorations that I have like this happy birthday wall decoration I can't sell it so I'm using it but I don't like it so I'm hiding it the Halloween bats again can't sell it so it's on my wall um, I got two of those and again I cannot sell it so again it is on my wall um, things that I don't like or even things that I do like that I want to keep like these posters over here um, and these two these two kitties like I like those those look very nice those are very pretty um, so I keep them they're bringing me more tips um, so like I said I try to utilize everything that is going to contribute to increasing my tips even if I don't like it if I can't sell it it is going in my cafe some way somehow just like this big ugly egg some way somehow um, I do not have oh well oops I have these table decorations and these couches but I am not going to try to stress myself out on trying to use those Christmas decorations because they're just awful and also I have not figured out how I'm going to fit those into my cafe without disrupting what I have right now because I if I'm going to use those then I don't want my customers to sit there just because I want everyone to be in one area so that they're not walking all over the place um, but anyway if you have the room um, and if you can't sell it use it because it's going to bring you more tips but make sure that you utilize all of the furniture within your style first before you start adding other decorations make sure you have room for the furniture um, in your style first um, the reason why I'm using this opera couch is because actually not the origami marathon but the one before um, this opera um, couch and that champagne table were both pro more profitable than the couch and the table for four that they had in um, not the last marathon but the one before and luckily I was able to sell those uh, those two items which I had never been able to sell those before but for some reason I was able to sell them so I took advantage of it and I sold them quickly now what I did run into is that sometimes when you level up to a new sub style the um, furniture is not some furniture is not always more expensive or brings you more tips than the previous for instance this opera menu and champagne menu um, you cannot see how much tips is going to bring you before you buy it which really sucks but um, I noticed that whenever I went to switch out the menus that the opera menu is actually more profitable than the champagne menu and since I had already bought my champagne menu I refuse to sell it and so I decided to keep it um, and since they pretty much match I am not disappointed in having both of them on the menu I, I look at it as if like there's two menus with two different things on them for like the customers to look at um, that's how I look at it but my point is is that I did not want to um, waste diamonds by selling the champagne menu um, because you know once you buy something and then you sell it you're not gonna get the whole refund back so that's why I decided to keep it 
Um, again, I've said this like a thousand times, leveling up slowly is very important. You have to give your um, new furniture and the extra tips time to accumulate, um, to save and to actually start to see the growth in your profit. Like right now, this is the tips that I get from everything that is in my cafe. Um, I utilize one style. Um, also, what helps is the barista challenge. Now, I only participate in the barista challenge to make room in my spice box if I'm running out of space before the weekend festival. Um, which again, I mentioned this in a previous video, but what I like about the barista challenge and the only thing I like about the barista challenge is that it brings you uh, twice as much coins when you use spices. Um, now, if you don't need to make room in your spice box and you plan on participating in the weekend festival, which is the one that really counts, um, then I suggest saving your spices and opting out on the barista challenge um, because for the festival, you're not just getting coins, you're also getting diamonds. And then at the same time, when the festival's over, you're also gonna get more diamonds, depending on where you place within your township. So overall, saving your spices for your festival, especially if you're in a fair township, um, that is key to making sure that not only are you getting more coins, but you're also getting more diamonds as well. I believe that is all that I wanted to really just touch upon. Um, definitely choosing wisely what style you want to use and just sticking with that one style, um, especially if it's one of the most profitable ones. Um, and then also, like I said, making sure that you utilize all the furniture in between um, as you level up, even if you don't like it. Just keep in mind that it's bringing you more profit um, because it's more expensive than the pre previous substyle. So utilizing all of the decorations within each substyle and then allowing it to accumulate um, in your bank for at least a few weeks before you level up again. Um, or at least until um, like one of the 70% off specials um, for expensive equipment or something like that. But definitely allowing your profit to grow by saving and being patient will definitely help you see the growth very quickly and making sure that whenever you level up, don't just level up um, as soon as you have enough to buy the equipment. You don't wanna keep starting from zero all over again. Again, that's just gonna slow the process down. You definitely want to save at least twice as much um, and then also if you can then save enough to be able to afford to switch out your old furniture with new furniture that is the main thing that really helps growing the profit and also seeing the profit more quickly um, I know a lot of people don't like to be patient but it is very important and that will solve the problem of not being able to afford the stylish equipment um, you won't ever have to worry about that if you're being patient before you're leveling up. Um, if you cannot do that, then honestly, there's nothing that's going to help you with that. The developers have already said that they're not going to decrease the um, prices on the equipment. And they always suggest, just as I do, to level up slowly and save. Um, and... They're not just telling you that, they are correct. You do need to level up slowly and save. So um, at least listen to that advice, um, if anything else, because that's definitely going to solve all of your problems when it comes to buying things with coins. If you have any suggestions on how you save and how you have grown your profit, then definitely leave them in the comment below. I would love to read them. Um, also, I think it would be helpful for people to see how much profit you um, take in, um, not including the extra decorations, but just the profit that you bring in just from the different styles. So say if you have the Northern Lights or American Retro or Chinese, um, definitely 
sharing like what you have utilized in those um, styles and how much tips you bring in, not including all the extra decorations. Um, that would be very helpful for those who already have those styles. And if they don't want to switch to another style, then how they can utilize um, using that style and growing their profit. Um, aside from the tips that I have already given, then that would be very great. Otherwise, that is all that I have for you. I will be posting another video um, soon about how I grew my diamonds and um, the best way to do that without, well, with and without spending money, actually. Um, so stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button so that you can see when that video posts. And thank you for watching.